In this class we learn about configure modifier set. A modifier set is a group of shortcut button for applying modifiers. It's a list of all currently available modifier and they organize into categories. If you use certain modifier frequently, you can ease the task of applying modifier to object by assigning them into custom set. Now I switch to 3ds Max and show you how to use configure modifier set. First I create two objects, a box and a cylinder. Maximize the viewport by pressing Alt W and press F4 key to show the edges. Now I go to modify section and increase the height segment for this slender. Same as I select this object and increase height, width and length segment for this box. Now I apply a modifier on this box object. So I click on the modify list and find modifier from this list. By scroll down, I want to apply a taper modifier so you can start typing ty so this will appear in front of you with the highlighted label so I click on this and taper modifier applied on this increase taper amount or curve so this type of shape is created by using taper modifier. If you want to apply this modifier on the other object, you have to click on this and click again on the modifier and then find your modifier every time. So it's a lengthy process. By using configure modifier set, you can save time if you are using modifiers frequently. To enable the configure modifier set in the modify panel, click on this button, a drop down list will appear and these are different different categories of modifier. Currently this selection modifier category is selected. This small arrow indicate. When you click on the show button, these selection modifier appear in the modify panel. So I click on this and these are selection modifiers. If you want to change the category of modifier, click on this button again and this time I choose parametric modifier. So I click on this and these are parametric modifier. On this slender I apply band so I click on this modifier apply on this slender. In the parameter section change the angle and direction also. So it's very easy to apply modifier by using configure modifier set. If you want to create a custom modifier set click on this button again and this time I choose configure modifier set. A dialog box is displayed here and here you can see these are all modifiers. You can find your modifier from this list. First you have to create your custom modifier set. So I select this modifier name and replace with curve design center modifier. So I type CDC for curve design center and save this set by clicking on the save button. Now I change total button number, I type 6 and then hit on the enter key. Modify list update now. Now I find modifier from this list and replace with these modifier. I frequently use blend and taper modifier so I leave this as it is. Now I select other modifier, edit poly, I frequently use this. Wavel, just click and drag and replace with these modifier. Extrude and Lath modifier. So list is updated. If you want to add more modifier, first increase button number and then replace with these modifier and then click on the OK button. So this list will update. Now I delete this modifier. Right click on this modifier name and then hit on the delete. So modifier is delete now. And then apply edit poly modifier on this box. So edit poly modifier is applied. Same as I select this slender and delete this blend modifier. And this time I apply taper modifier on this slender. So I click on this taper modifier applied on this slender and you can change the parameter. Configure modifier set is very easy to use and also time saving. If you want to know about a specific tool, write down in the comment section. I will create next video about that tool. Now we meet in the next class. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe my channel and like this video.